everyone and welcome to another episode of Pi Revolution. On this episode, we are going to use Python to predict human handwriting. That's correct. No matter how crappy your handwriting is, Python can actually figure it out. So before we go any further, let's download the libraries and the data set. So we are going to use matplotlib and matplotlib inline. And we are going to use our scikit-learn, which is Python's machine learning uh, library and it has a bunch of data sets that we can play around with and we're going to use the load digits data set or the handwriting data set and you'll be seeing that in a bit so our digits will equal to load digits so we have our handwriting data set and let's look at one of the digits so we're going to use pylab pylab gray so it's grayscaled and we are going to see image number zero so it has a bunch of images i don't exactly remember but um okay let's take a look okay so our image zero kind of looks like a zero i guess we can safely call it a zero and next up let's see what how python actually sees this image so you see a zero python sees this a matrix so you might be wondering what all this mean so when you're doing machine learning everything has to be in a matrix or numbers because computers can't see they look at numbers and that's how they know what an image look like so over here you have a bunch of numbers zero three four so each of this number uh, is a grayscale pixel so grayscale means you only have one pixel instead of color images where you have RGB or three pixels per cell so I mean three uh, combination of three colors per pixel so over here uh, the number varies between 0 to 255 because that's for an 8-bit pixel so if it's a 0 that means you have black and if it's a 255 then it's white I kind of expected the other way around but well I'm not the one who invent this terminology so let's just move on for our next exercise we are going to visualize the first 15 images that we will perform our machine learning algorithm on so let's take a look we will be looking at digits.images and digits.target so our images would be the picture of human handwriting and our targets would be what the numbers mean so somebody has predetermined what the numbers are so we'll just do a fit to figure out um, if the computer can learn what a human handwriting look like so we are going to plot and we'll do a 3 by 5 plot to look at our 15 handwritings I'm not gonna go over it too much because it's not a matplotlib tutorial there's another one I'll link you to it and here's our first 15 so wow it kind of looks like they set the target based on how the images are numbered so and for an 8 is an 8 for a 9 is a 9 um, it's either a 9 or a 4 but I'm, I'll go with a 4 yeah let's just stick to that so the next part is the fun bit the machine learning part so for this we need our random library and from scikit-learn we'll use ensemble inside ensemble we have the random forest classifier so there are a bunch of ways you can solve this problem but we're going to choose random forest just well we're just picking something as an example so the number of sample will be our length of our digits dot images or digits dot target whichever you want so we know how many images we have to perform our machine learning algorithm on x would be our images and we have to reshape the images so that we can perform our algorithm on and y would be our target so first of all we have to break up our data set into a validation targets and sample targets so our sample would be our training model so sample index would be ram random dot sample so we go over range len x which means that if you have 500 uh, 500 images so you have an index from 0 to 499 and what this does is whatever we have 
we do a 20-80 split. So 20-80 uh, split. So 20% would be our training model and 80% would be our validation model. We'll use the 20% of the images to predict the rest of the 80% of the images. So um, yeah, we broke it up into 20% and anything that's not in the 20%, like ran randomly arranged, will be in our validation index. We do the exact same thing with our sample images. So our sample images has to match our sample index, validation or valid index. Same thing with the targets. So our validation targets and validation index, sample index and sample targets, they will all have same indices so that you can match up the targets with the images. And here's our classifier, ensemble.randomforest classifier. And once we have our classifier and we're gonna use the default parameters, we're not optimizing the model, uh, we do a fit. So here is our training model, our sample images, and our sample targets, basically what those images mean. Once we're done, we're going to calculate the score. The score will basically say how accurate our model is, like how many, what's the percentage of it getting the handwriting right. Then we just print out just to make it look pretty and the score. So let's do a shot. Okay, so our random tree classifier has a score of 0.889. That means that for every 100 images, our algorithm will get 89 of the images right. So it can actually identify 89 of those human hand handwriting images. Um, let's give it a, t a shot. So we have we are going to print out the image and we're going to print out what the target is. So let's just do i equals to zero. So this obviously looks like a zero and it is a zero, okay. Let's try something else, 232 I guess, something random. This looks like a six and yeah, our model's saying it's a six. Let's try 150. I'm just randomly picking numbers. I have no clue what I'm doing. And this, I guess, is a zero. And yeah, it's a zero. So there you have it. You can use Python to predict human handwriting. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please don't forget to subscribe. As always, have a nice day.